Today I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of clips from an interview that I did with Carl from DiviMath, the maker of HD0, on Saturday. Carl sat down with me over Skype for well over an hour, and we discussed many aspects of the HD0 system, including some of the new hardware, the new VRX, we talked about the reason he's making goggles, and even jumped into some of the more technical aspects around his chipset. That video is going to be well over an hour long, and I will be publishing that on the channel, hopefully, in the next couple of days. However, today I want to share with you a few relevant clips from that interview, talking about the open source announcement that Carl made first of all. But further on from that, we talk about some comments that have been made by the likes of Immersion RC, Tony Cake, and Orca with regards to HD0 competing with some of their vendors. We have a chat about that dealer margin thing. And there is also something that Carl wanted to address at the end of the video as well. So please do make sure you stick around for the full time. Anyway, let's get on with it. I want to say a massive thank you from me to Carl. I hope you enjoy it. And as I've said, if you want to see the full interview, make sure you're subscribed because that will be dropping in the next couple of days. This does sort of lead us nicely on to the open source thing you mentioned. I'll come back to the VRX in a minute because I want to talk to you about that. But you've mentioned about you want to open source some parts of HD0 software. Can you explain that a bit more? Oh, right. So remember, I'm an ethical guy. So I have made more than, I mean, at least 10 successful ethical. So all these like uh, ICs, they need a driver. All those drivers are open source. Meaning I see a chip, right? I, I need to give them the reference design of how to drive this chip, right? For the FPV community, it's kind of, I think there are my two observations. So the first one is the pilots. Most of pilots are engineers. They are very motiv motivated and uh, hands-on, and they want to, they are willing to contribute. So that's very unique. The other one is that most of the LPV manufacturers are in China, and uh, they are weak on the R&D but they are very strong in the manufacturing. So take an example of EOIS. So EOIS is using a chipset from Semtech. And, uh, and uh, the, the EOIS developer team, they have some talent guy like uh, Wesley Variety. So, so they do the firmware very good. And also they have like uh, Happy Model, they design the, they do the hardware for them. I think it's a perfect combination. Back to HD0, I want to be the same tech in the EOI side. I provide the chipset and open source everything. Somebody, they can contribute like based on the chipset. Like the same tech provide the ASIC, uh, basically variety, those guys doing the software and the happy model doing the hardware, right? So for the HD0, I think uh, DVMAS provide the HD0 chipset and we provide some open source. Some guy will develop on it. And uh, the manufacturers will, manuf will manufacture the VTX and the VRX or something. That's, that's what I'm thinking about the open source for HD0. There's been a few controversial things over the last couple of weeks. And, and I know this side of things, Carl, you tend to not get, you know, you're an engineer. And I know you've said to me before that you don't really get involved. We've had some comments from Fat Shark on the sales numbers of HD0, which were a bit strange. I put out a video on that myself talking about some other data. I'm not going to say where that came from. Um, and then we've had more recently some comments from, I think it was Tony at Immersion RC, Tony Cake, around HD0 making hardware, which affects the other manufacturers and i've got my own thoughts on that but i just wanted to know what you know what your thoughts on that was uh that's right let's uh, back to 2019 uh when my first chip came out i visited almost all the xp manufacturers in china but i failed to convince any of them because they think dji is too strong Everyone who compete with DJI were dead. So 
The second one is uh, HD zero is nobody. So carrying a new thing is too risky to them. Right. So, but thanks to Greg at Fireshark, he decided to do the bite frost and the shark bite. And, uh, but the response was not good. So in 2020, I was so, I mean, I don't know what to do. I didn't know what to do because I, I didn't know what to improve. Right, I don't. So about 12 months ago, I decided to stand up. I mean, stand in front of the pilots and let them guide me. So that's why I, I'm lucky, I, I'm a lucky man. So I'm, there's so many warm-hearted, I mean, pilots, they tell me, you, you need to do that, you need to do that. So then we have the rest VTX, V2, and uh, different cameras, even the freestyle, one watt, and the wires, those kind of things. So let me ask you a question or scenario you think about. If I don't do the VTX and the camera, if I hadn't do that, will the HD0 be live today? I, I doubt. So, so that's why I say, so TV mass making VTX and uh, camera is not because we want to, because we are forced to do that. And right now we are going to, I mean, we, we are going to let the other manufacturer do that. Right. But what I want to say is that those VTX and the camera should be interpreted as a proof. So HD0 now is a viable. Is a, is a vital, it's an ecosystem you can jump in. It should not be interpreted as a stop sign, right? Yeah, that, that, that's my thought. Uh, yeah. No, HD0 chipset is open to any manufacturers. We will provide a schematic, everything, even the manufacturer instructions. You know, the ice thing, you need the ice matching, right? And even the calibration, we will give those instructions free of charge to any man manufacturer who is willing to do the VTX, right? The, we, we will give it out. We will help them to, from the design to the manufacturer, everything. And we were marketing it. I mean, we will promote their pro product, right? And the TV mass will happily sell them the chipset only. I mean, yeah, that, 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 that's the point. That's I, yeah, yeah. You know, I have my thoughts on the comments and, you know, my perception of things was very simple. Under a brand, the system had stagnated. We weren't seeing decent changes. We weren't seeing anything happen at a level what FPV would have liked. And then I remember you starting to appear on RC groups, Carl, yourself, and, and asking questions and... And the system then, you know, it is in a totally different place today than it was back then. And my my feeling is it would never have survived if you hadn't done what you've done. But I just thought it was interesting that there is this perception that from certain manufacturers, and I said this to you off here, and I think if they're making comments, I think that probably means you're doing something right. And that's usually the way I would look at it. And I think HD Zero and Divi Math are doing a lot right right now. There's always more. You know, Carl, I am a critical person. You know, I know we've we've spoke before and I can be a complete pain in the ass. I'm not gonna hide that fact. But I I I do what I do for the consumer and, and what I think is right. And if I think something's wrong, I'll say it. And if I think it's right, I'll say it. And I'll be honest, I don't see anything you guys are doing wrong right now. I, I think everything you've done makes sense. All of the products you've released are well liked. The reliability is there now. Early days, yes, reliability <laughs> was, was up and down. But yeah. you've openly said you weren't in this to make hardware. So we understand that, you know, and, and it's taken a bit of time. But, yeah, it was interesting. And, I, you know, just further on on that, I know there was also a bit of noise on the dealers, on, on the margins thing as well. I don't know if you want to mention anything on that one. I think you've addressed that now, haven't you? Yes. So, so HD0 need uh, support from the reseller more than anybody else. But uh, HD0, I mean, margin for the reseller was it is low. I mean, it was low. It's even lower. 
So it was 15% about six months ago. And uh, right now, the VTX and the camera, it is uh, 20%, and uh, almost 23% for the VIX. It's still lower than, than, than the other FPV products. But uh, this is the best offer I can give right now. It's because of two reasons. Number one is because of the bomb. Right. You, if you think, if you look at the HD0 VTX and the analog VTX, you can tell how complex, how, 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 how complicated is that. So, so the bomb is high. The other one is HD0 manufacturing is, is high. The cost is high. You can tell we are, we are not a good manufacturing at all. <laughs> so manufacturing cost is high. So I'm thinking the, the manufacturing cost from our point of view, is already become lower because the margin is improved from 15% to 20% right now. And it will continue to lower. And also the pandemic and the IC shortage, well, eventually it will be over, even in China. I think, um, right, so, so in summary, the margin is low, but we are, we are trying our best. Uh, Yim, before you finish this video, can I say something? Yes, absolutely. Um, I I will take this chance to thank you, my testers, like uh, Ryan Collett and uh, Anthony Rival and uh, Alf. All I don't want to name them name them all. I want to tell a fact that they are volunteer this time their time to test for me. I I don't even pay them anything. I just send them test unit. I can tell if they don't test it, the the chip, the the product is it's, it will be disaster. Like the VIX, I think the VIX this time it's great. It's it's no more time for me. So then I send something send to to Ryan. Ryan told me a fatal quest, a problem, so we had to fix it. That's why we delay the shipment of the VIX. So so those testers. They gave me suggestions. They volunteer their time, but they get nothing. But they get nothing but the test unit. That's what I want to say. I'm telling the truth. I'm not right. I just want to. Some people accuse them. They maybe get paid by me. I'm here. I say I pay, pay them nothing. They. I mean, they ran quality to me, probably in the 2021. He saw a video, he think this one is, is good for APV. This technology is good APV. He tried to save this technology. He, the reason he do that is because he want to save this technology, because he thinks this technology is good for this, for this hobby. That's all. There's nothing more than that. So, yeah, that's what I want to say. Thank you. So you have heard Carl's response to some of these things in his own words. For me, it was an absolute pleasure to be able to sit down with him for well over an hour and discuss many things with regards to HD Zero. And that full video is well over an hour and that will be going live on the channel in the next couple of days. So please do make sure you are subscribed and you've got the bell ticked. That way you'll get a notification when it's done. On a personal note, I do find it interesting that we are seeing some other competing manufacturers start to post on HD Zero groups and posts with regards to some of the announcements, such as the open source, as well as things like HD Zero competing with their own dealers. If I'm going to be blunt, my opinion is, frankly, those other manufacturers should concentrate on what they're doing and what they have promised their users that's going to be coming in the future and stop worrying about what others are doing. It is never a good look when other manufacturers are trying to pick holes in what someone who is actually delivering products is doing. And from my point of view, at this moment in time, it almost looks like a bit of a distraction. HD Zero today is delivering products to consumers that work and they are 100% focused on continuing to do that, but not only deliver what we've got today, push the development forward on the FPV goggles that they've announced, as well as some other stuff that me and Carl talk about in the video as well.
I do hope you found these clips interesting and I want to say a massive thank you from me to Carl. I'm hoping to do a few more videos like this over the next couple of weeks. As I've said, make sure you stick around at the channel when that main video goes live because there is so much super interesting info in there, you really don't want to miss it. Anyway, that's it for me. Stay safe. I will speak to you guys again soon.